While console esports may not have the global reach of their PC counterparts, there's no denying their influence. Games like Halo and Call of Duty led to the creation of organizations like MLG and Optic Gaming. They were also the start for some of the biggest personalities in the space like Ninja and Courage. Nate Shot is also one of these personalities, and through his success, he's created one of the best known teams in esports today, 100 Thieves. Nate Shot first made a name for himself in 2009. He finished fourth at that year's national championship, immediately establishing himself as one of the world's best Call of Duty players. Although the game was still relatively small as an esport, it was set to explode in popularity, and Nate Shot made sure he'd do the same. In 2010, he joined Optic Gaming. The team was nowhere near the popular behemoth it has become and was only just beginning to create the type of content associated with the brand today. Nate Shot was one of the forefathers of this content and played a large role in creating the reputation Optic now enjoys. Nate Shot wasn't just responsible for the success of Optic's content, but also played a vital role in the success they found in competition. While he'd join and leave Optic sporadically over the course of his career, he spent a large majority of his time as a player with the team. He won a total of 23 competitions with the organization, including the first ever World Championship style event in 2011 and the first Call of Duty X Games in 2014. Over the course of his career, he remained dedicated to making content and coupled with his performance in-game, made himself one of the most popular players in all of esports. He won the Esports Player of the Year award at the 2014 Game Awards and showed no signs of slowing down. Then in 2015, he shocked the world by announcing he was stepping away from competitive Call of Duty to focus on content creation. Basically, I am going to be taking a break from competitive Call of Duty, a leave of absence, if you will. What fans didn't know was that he had even bigger plans. Almost exactly one year after the announcement that he would be stepping away from competition, he announced he was starting his own esports team, 100 Thieves. Taking everything that he had learned from his time with Optic, 100 Thieves was dedicated to not only becoming a top competitive team, but also one of the premier content brands in all of esports. He combined these two goals with his love of apparel, specifically streetwear, to create one of the most unique brands in esports today. His first competitive team was fielded in Call of Duty, where he felt most comfortable, but Nate Shot built the organization to field teams across multiple major titles. 100 Thieves now has representation in major games like League of Legends, Fortnite, and CSGO, making it a force across the industry. Despite the few years of experience, they've already found tremendous success. They won both CWL London and Anaheim in 2019 and reached the finals of that year's World Championship. In League of Legends, they reached the finals of the LCS Spring Split in 2018. Sadly, with the announcement of the CDL, he stopped fielding a team in Call of Duty, stating it just doesn't make sense financially for the organization at that time. 100 Thieves will not be a part of competitive Call of Duty next year. The CDL is incredibly expensive. For us to make such a costly investment possibly jeopardize really everything that this company has been building. There's no doubt that his move from competitor to business owner was risky, but it so far has been a move that's paid off. He was named Esports Personality of the Year in 2019, and 100 Thieves has attracted major investors, including Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert and Drake. There appears to be no limit for Nate Shot and his new organization, leaving no doubt he will continue to shape the industry for years to come.